This the year, this the year I make my ways. This the year, this the year, this the year of mentality. Lately, my small cycle chains burn the grass to many stains. Now it's shallow, west of things. Fuck your lemons, I want lemonade. Excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was saying something about how Tibbs does his thing when he gets like um, excited. And I was like, um. Like sometimes, his hands are shaking or Yeah, something. sometimes we're like fidgeting, you know, which is hilarious. <laughs> like a grown-ass man who gets excited. <laughs> like, and that's him when <laughs> Jimmy showed up to practice. What do you think? Yeah. No, no, no. See, the only thing that can make me go, <laughs> is J. Cole coming out to that song. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, wait, let me put on my gun. That has to be the only thing. Ladies and gentlemen, today's uh, episode, it's not brought to you by, but it will be brought with <laughs> the Jackson, Smith, and Jigba wide receiver for the Seahawks. Um, this guy's like plugging it like it's a sponsor. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> uh, no, it's a culture. It's like White Claw, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting four in, so. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Yeah, the last thing Lance made me try on the pod killed some kid. The one chip challenge. So I don't know about the no, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> How do you know I wasn't trying to do that to you? <laughs> the one chip challenge. Oh my god, so Isn't you're Scotty. Crazy? Is that what you're saying? You've been Scotty. I've been this Scotty whole the whole time. time. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Scotty the whole time. I always was. I'm scared. Always will be. Oh god. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, episode 182. Uh, we're back. But yeah, dude, this is like your 1 a.m. Every few years, it's the best day of the year for you. It's when Drake drops. And this time, it actually did come in October. And I'm sorry. October 6th. 6, 6 a.m. The October. Yeah, I know. Okay, the 6 a.m. thing. Brutal. Not cool. Not all. Oh, it has to be at 6 a.m. We you're both woke up for this. No, <laughs> yeah. no dude, no way. I, but it's just annoying because you know how we do it. I would have hit you up. I would have been like, yo, yeah. I, I'm going to pull up, but I see 6 a.m. I'm like, bruh. What? You could have still pulled up. You did not hear it when it dropped. <laughs> no. <laughs> I um, bet my entire life seeing. Honestly, though, that would be very, like, Lance character arc for you to actually, like, stay up just because you stay up late anyway. And oh, being okay. like, oh, yeah. let me hear the. Uh, yeah, I happen to listen to it because cause I'm up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought like, you were like, Whoa, let waiting let in the drop. corner. No, 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 I wouldn't. <laughs> Or maybe, like, fuck it, all-nighter for Drake. That would be the worst of it, I think. But that might have been you a couple years ago or something. Probably, like, back in high school or some shit, <laughs> for sure. Um, I was up until, like, 4 a.m. Nah, uh, that's yeah, you can't. That's just because that's when I go to sleep. Yeah. So, at 3, I was listening to it. Uh, at 3 a.m. is when I knew J. Cole would, would be on the album. Because Drake was like, we just left the studio, like, an hour ago. Yeah. So is that why it was 6 a.m. actually? Or? Well, he was putting finishing touches. Like, SZA sent him in the second verse <laughs> oh my with the God. Sexy Red song. Yeah. Like, last minute too. So they were adding that shit. Um, it was like a lot of last minute things that were being done. They're in the lab. Yeah. They were in the lab until like the final hour, which <laughs> I've never what been a fan of the personally. NFL, the, NBA, you know? the NFL draft. You have to yeah, call yeah. them at a certain minute, and, and like I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah. Spotify, listen to me, man. <laughs> like yeah, no, no, like no. That. They were there. He, Drake was definitely Joe Cronin. Like, listen, I'm not gonna give it to you unless I get what I fucking want. I'm waiting for scissors. I need scissors for the second verse. And Adonis, I'm waiting on Adonis's last couple bars. <laughs> I need Adonis's bars because it's so garbage that we have to. <laughs> How do you ask for a favor from QM for the fucking the verse? What's your thoughts? Um, what are my thoughts? <laughs> I ask you because here, here's the thing. I've always followed Drake and loved him, and you know that. But you're the you've always been the Drake guy, and that's not even. <laughs> I know. I'm, but look, he's I'll get into my else. thoughts after I pop this juvie. Yeah, yeah, caramel yeah. apple. Do you want first taste? I'll let you get a wake up. No, you you try it. I'll try yeah, it. Yeah, I mean. We can't have a Banterheads podcast without me on some fucking caffeine. <laughs> You're right. Don't worry. I had a rebel earlier. But... Oh, Sorry. he needs a second sip. Sorry. I need a second sip. That's crazy. So it's car- car- caramel apple. Caramel. <laughs> the- caramel. 
Whatever. However you want to say I, I say Appel, personally. <laughs> Get out of here. You know there's two pronunciations to caramel. <laughs> yeah, of course. It's peculiar, right? Okay, so it basically it's like the only bearable apple like cider Ever. like type like where it's that because it, it, it just adds like a little like layer to it. Yeah, but it. it doesn't taste like apple juice. It tastes no, like you're exactly, eating an I mean. apple. It's crazy. It does, but with that light twinge of yeah, I could yeah. use a little more caramel just to like I've thought so too. Yeah, really and I'm sorry I blew my cover. Yes, I say caramel, not caramel. But um <laughs> Is one trashier than the other? <laughs> No, nah, it's just like, no. Okay. It's just one of those things, like colloquialism. Some people in some <laughs> places will. <laughs> Holy shit, guys! Get out your fucking dictionaries for yeah, this one. What's up? <laughs> um, but yeah, man. So I'm My sorry. On the album. You you definitely like. Come on, that's your guy. That's your favorite. That's your favorite artist, right? He's the, he's, he's he's the boy. Um, <laughs> but here's why I laugh. I'm there driving back from the beach. First of all, have you driven listening to it? Obviously not. Not yet. Huge flop. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm driving back from the beach, which I know you'd love that drive. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, what I'd love to do is be you going back, like leaving the pod and just driving. That's when I would flip it yeah, on and be right like, there. like at that hour. Yeah, like at 2 a.m. 2.30. On the highway. You know? you know what? I think that's where your Drake fan is going. You just driving to the beach for no reason because Drake's album dropped. Drive far enough where it's halfway. <laughs> you stop at the beach for a second. And then you drive yeah. back. <laughs> Dude, Kif, Kif, the raffles now have just been online. So I haven't had an excuse to just pull like a fat drive. Yeah. Because I, I haven't you. I haven't shot any concerts in a minute. I feel um, that. And definitely not in, in uh, Miami Beach. That's why we need to yeah. film more back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, it's already on the way. So no, no, you know what I mean. God bless. Back, back. Um, yeah. But no. Uh, so I did the Wake and Drake. You did? No. <laughs> I guess I had to throw it in because that's the funny. <laughs> like, like it hasn't been funny. Dude, that was, like, I Drake did. and Drive was funny, but the Wake and Drake is like. I kind of did Wake and Drake, though, a little bit. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with I, it, It was more so I woke up and out of once I got over, like, that morning, like, thing, I, like, I snapped out of it. I was like, You oh looked outside, it's like, six God. I go, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, it was a light. Like, the, the moon was just a six. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's when the sun's up, but you can still see the moon. Yeah. And it's just, but it's the hands, actually. <laughs> You're just like, oh, my God, what? Drake dropped today? <laughs> so I threw it on, but... All right. Nah, Enough I definitely stalling. didn't really listen to it until later, I would say. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I, I like most of the album. 18 through 22, shaky. That's I mean, what I told Kaylin. I told... Cause like pull up the track list. The fucking bit, but. the okay. Here we go. Yeah. Off rip. Okay. Here's the thing. The last four songs are kind of forgettable. Uh, I agree with you. I like polar opposites. So oh, it yeah, goes from right. here no, to here. Opposites. Oh my god. I'm actually kind of offended a little bit. Wait, why? Because one of my favorite songs is in there, and one of my favorite secret interludes is in there. <laughs> BBL love? Well, no, that's not the secret interview. I love BBL love interlude. I don't know why you don't like it. That seems I'd like have one to of hear those it again. I think you'll end up loving that I'd track. have to hear it again, but the problem with that song, and this is just like a fucking stupid thing, Shade's on the song. You know that, right? Okay, yeah. It's the, what, the... Uh... I just want to like hear her sing. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's like, it's, like... It's, it's it's a dope pool for Drake. No, I, I know feel like he's wanted her forever. It's and not what you want. And I, Shade... I get that. But the track, what it is... It's I'd fun. have to hear it again. Like this part, I'd have to hear again. And I gotta hear the whole album again, but I'm gonna pay like more attention to this part. Well, I just like some yeah. bars on whatever. Like, um, you know, everyone has their reasons. Gently, but I did love the end. That's the thing. My complaint is the end of uh, "Rich Baby Daddy" should have been its own interview. That part where he starts uh, talking about the dog days are over, the dog days yeah. are done. Like, um, it's like a minute and a half, completely different from the song. I would have liked it better as something, but yeah. On to Bad Bunny. Here's the th okay. No, no, no. Let's stay on Rich Baby Daddy because okay, right. I love the production. Carnage went. I mean, Gordo. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was definitely more Carnage. I guess mode, dead name. No, don't fucking worry. Fucking Carnage. Uh, Gordo. <laughs> oh, no. Chill. I'm you getting canceled. Again. But no, let's be real. Production's insane. SZA does his thing. Drake does his thing. I just feel like Sexy Red's vocals Dude, sounded sh weird. I didn't. I. She's I don't know if it was too much. If it was mixed wrong, mashed no, 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 wrong. No. There's something off. Bro, about no it. No doubt. Now that I'm looking at the entire thing, hands down the most forgettable feature is Sexy Red. 
I and I think I'll I think I'll agree with that taking a year. Like I don't even think that that's like I genuinely like that track. The ending's fire, scissors shit's fire, and like you said, the beat is gas. The beat's but insane. I just feel like it, I think it's one it of the best beats on the album. Personally, sexier to be on there, it felt a little forced. That's all I'm gonna say. But it does sound like you said they kind <laughs> of last get, minute threw it in, right? Yeah. Well, scissors part was thrown in. Well, that's why. But I guess it's like a like, club anthem, so her part makes sense. I just think the vocals are off. Yeah, something's There's, up with it. It yeah. comes too hard or something when I'm listening. Maybe in the car it sounds different. Um. Well, other than nah, that, it's, like, it's definitely, it's still, it's a good track. Like, I enjoy yeah, it, cool, but I do cool. agree that it was just like a little, but that's not saying much that it's the most forgettable feature. Look at the fucking I don't think it's the most this. forgettable. I think it's the most, so what like, is? it's the worst. Yeah, it's the worst. Because it's not forgettable. Like, that oh, shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bust your pussy for, I'm talking for about me. Forgettable now bust your pussy for Drake. Like, her like, performance was forgettable, you know? Like, yeah. you're not like, oh, wow, she really impacted this track. Yeah, she no, really I get what you mean. This, I, yeah, you, you know? I understand. Whereas, not gonna sure. lie, I actually like Yadi's verse. I don't really care what anyone says. Have you seen the music video for that? No. I'll have to. We got a, it's Cole Bennett, Lyrical nice. Lemonade. But I will so. say. Yachty did kind of sell a little bit. I, I, I fucked with it kind of, but he definitely sold on the on the J. Cole track the other week. Like his... his uh, I, don't, I just... I don't know if I, I liked his, his, his verse. You didn't like it on this one? I don't know. I, was, I, I don't have to... I've heard it twice. It's not bad. Oh my God, you've heard it twice? Because I watched the video. <laughs> oh yeah, true, true. So, I liked it. I think it was a, a, like the vibe we'd, we'd want. I love the video. The oh, video of sure. the bar, but the, one it's... of their best videos is that fucking Oprah one, and that song's mid. Um, I think this song will stand the test of time better than that song. We'll see, That's we'll see. Sure. Yeah, away from home, we just heard. I'm so iffy about that one. Gently, dude. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is, but I feel like <laughs> the English artists don't know how to utilize Benito. Because <laughs> Travis, I felt like. Nah, I kind of liked. I like. Here's the thing. I like Drake's lead up, but I do agree that it's kind of a cop out to just like. Oh, uh, beat switch into like a bad bunny beat, and then it builds up and drops right where you expect it yeah, to. Yeah, I, I so it was a little formulaic, but I think it would have been better if Drake went to like bad bunny and was like, Yo, let's work on something together, but I want you to set the tone, yeah, and set the vibe because it kind of felt like, Oh, we're gonna put this like Spanish song together it's like for a, bad bunny it's like and a have Drake, him uh, on. Well, here's the thing, you know, you're much more into reggaeton, and I'm gonna call it that because that's kind of what it's evolved that, into. that it is. It is. You're much more into that, so I do understand you being like that. Yeah. But personally, I enjoy. And I, I his enjoy verse isn't bad. Oh no, his verse is. It's just the geez. cohesion of the song. I kind of liked it. I felt me. that way at first, but honestly, on the re-listen, I kind of liked it. Yeah, I'm, it was dude, like him all first beat switch, reactions. like you know, yeah. vintage Drake beat switch. But here's the thing: Drake doesn't drop a verse on it, really. It's kind of more yeah. like a fucking bridge or some shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. So that part, I do agree with you. It would have been dope if it it's was not like, Mia. That's for sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Why can't we get like a like a Drake and Bad Bunny song, but set to the tone of like a Drake and Lil Wayne song or some shit? <laughs> That's like what where, I really where want. Bad Bunny's barring out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what we really want. You That'd want us sick. to just be a Rick. But what I no, want no. Is, is like Rick Rose fucking tight beats with Bad Bunny. They're like, yo, man, no, no, no. That's so fucking funny. No, I like melodic reggaeton too, man. You know? Um, <laughs> I'm fucking with you. But I did, I, you know, after a few listens, it's not Yeah, like yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I think, I think by that time, I was also like, I was also working, listening to the album. And by that time, I was kind of like. Yeah, but how did you think on the re-listen? That track. For which one? Gently. We just heard it. You it's all right. It it's, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't love it. That's the problem. Yeah. It's Bad Bunny and Drake. I should fucking love it. Yeah, two, two favorite artists. What? Like, I should love it. It's like, oh, by the way, here's this new song by Kendrick and Pasa. <laughs> I would literally nut everywhere. <laughs> yeah, except Kendrick flops. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know? No. No, 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 no. I saw the group chat. We're not, we're not getting into that I'm conversation. Fucking you. <laughs> I'm fucking to Kendrick. That was horrendous oh, what that's I was an reading. awful story. Horrendous what oh, I was wait, reading, no, I don't bro. Even know what Some people should be expelled for that. Motherfuckers were saying Kendrick was like overrated and shit. I'm sorry, oh, bro. I'm glad I didn't see that, to be honest. Oh, but you saw what I did say? My week. joke. Oh, by the way, the big three. Yeah, it's obviously oh, Drake, yeah, yeah. That was Yachty, funny. and Cole. Because, bro, let's be real. What, Yachty works with Cole? Then all of a sudden, Cole's working with Drake again? Now I'm fucking with you. <laughs> I know you like that one week earlier. But here's what I will say. That Yachty and Cole track, not going to lie, because Cole's verse, we admit it. It's, you know, it's bars. It's, it's good. It's, it's, it's good, fine. It's a good song. But... <laughs> like the magnitude of it, and then this shit is just like, 
bah, like yeah. this one's like, oh look, a couple cool fun J Cole metaphors. This shit is him talking about like it's goat first of all, them being like kind of arguing about who's the goat. Which it's, that's it's, like, bro. Not great. I it's, know you like that, honestly, right? Honestly, it's honestly Jordan and Kobe in a room together. It's kind that's of them incredible. like arguing about yeah, who's yeah, the goat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get but the But still being like, you're gonna go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? But like, also, like, no, no, you're not. But like, uh, the, yeah, no, it's the, like, you're gonna go. <laughs> he's like, it's the Super Bowl, but we're against each other. Yeah. What yeah, do you yeah. think? It's not the Super Bowl halftime show. And then Kendrick over there standing no, no, there. No. They knew he was. It's a Super Bowl versus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a halftime versus. Nah, but what I really need is a fucking. And, you know, it's always gonna be a fucking stupid pipe dream. But that song was giving me a little bit of. Oh my god, maybe one day we get to watch the throne with Cole and Drake. Stop. <laughs> and with where one of the songs is with Kendrick. And then that song just absolutely eats and takes over the internet. If they did that, the rap would never be topped. Yeah. We'll ne- like, but you know what I mean, though, the right? Watch the throne. Like, actually, like them yeah. getting together. Dude, this cohesion on this track was fucking beautiful. I think it's the best they've sounded ever. <laughs> except, except maybe in the morning. Well, yeah. I mean, and the morning it, was gorgeous. It, Joe to see uh, freestyle was good, but it was just. But it, like, like, I think token, they were still trying to figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah. You know, the where they're both at right now. And I, I also one thing I like about this album is that Drake kind of succumbed to like the all right, we're all making albums like this kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. these like more like minimal bar heavy fucking albums. You know, like that's what I like about this album is that like, dude, some of the wordplay is like. Top tier wordplay oh, from Drake. Some like, of the best. And it, it's not... Here's the thing. Yeah. You know I hated Views because every time... Like, every time... And same thing with a couple of tracks from CLB. I won't say I didn't like CLB as a whole because there's great tracks on it. But both of those have just some bars that make me go like this. There's a couple on, mm-hmm. on here that there's do, a couple, do that to me. Personally. But it's super low compared it's, to the yeah. last, like, six years of Drake. I'm sorry. Ex- okay, excluding I feel, you know, his little 21 Savage one. I feel like C.O.B. Def- and and her loss have both had uh, bars where I'm like, probably should have cut that. You exactly. Know? Like, unnecessary oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. The, the, what was it? This the, one, I don't feel like that. The Rihanna shit. Oh, where he bleeped it? Where he did the anti and the sex was mid and oh, all this shit. shit. No, I didn't That's know supposedly that. about Rihanna. Nah, but there's also one where he bleeps the name and he's like banging on what do you call it? And it literally sounds like it would say Riri. I'm just being honest with you. I, yeah, I don't that. like that. I don't like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't, yeah, but you know. I mean, he was publicly on fucking uh, LeBron's album saying he wanted, or LeBron's show. Saying he wanted to uh, marry her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, re- I mean, yeah, but like, dude, her and Rocky already have a life together. They have kids. Oh like... no! But of course, it's Drake. He's king subliminals. I know. What do you man, think? This guy's like... not gonna subliminal a little God. bit. Yeah. Let's get some. And then the the jazz chick Esperanza. That bar where, it, yeah, he was nominated for Grammy for best new artist, yeah. and then it went to her. Oh okay. okay. And obviously, like, yeah, that's nobody like really knows mansion. her, but it's like, what, what what track was that on? I don't remember, dude. You know, there are songs on here I love for sure. Um, I mean, Drew Picasso. I've only heard it once, <laughs> but dude, that dude went Leonardo da Vinci on it. Oh my like, god, you liked it that much? That was one that I don't have as enough of an opinion on, to be I, honest, which is sad. That's uh, that's one I like. Obviously, FPS, it was first good, person shooter. No, first person um, shooter is the best Drake song to drop in six years, and I don't even mean it just because of Cole. Like, just the vibe is just fucking gas. Like. In six years, you like that, <laughs> bro? It's the nah, it's, it's the modern nah. day forever. I'm sorry, Sony J Cole, but it's two people. It's the modern it's, day. I know it's not like the same vibe, but I just mean it's just them like fucking talking their damn shit. Like yeah, we don't get no, like honestly, that in terms of like a moment, it's the biggest <laughs> moment on this album. Yeah, for but sure. It's, you know, like I don't think um, CLB had a moment like that. <laughs> no, of course not. Exactly. I, like this, this moment was crazy. But in terms of songs, I don't know about that one. <laughs> I, I know. It, it is. It no, is fire, though. That I was the home of the hot takes. I mean, dude, that's that's the first song I fucking played. You know. Yeah. Come on. No, dude. Uh, Virginia I mean, Beach. You're like, oh, maybe it's a little more sicko modey. <laughs> nah, it's not sicko modey. It's better. It's, it's nah. It's it's like meltdown, but instead of Travis, J Cole. So now it's like. 
the bars don't drop off. I yeah. felt like with Meltdown, Drake killed it, and then Trav yeah, kind of so like it wasn't as you know memorable. Yeah, yeah I, I felt like for first person shooter, I felt like throughout the whole song, it was just like you're entertained. There's hundred. multiple different flows. There's different beats. Like it was yeah, just a lot yeah. of fun. Um, tried our best was a leak. I'm glad that's all on the album. Uh, oh, that song's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> that was a leak. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna I, ask you which ones were. Uh, tried our best was a leak. I had it downloaded on my laptop, but I didn't upload it to the cloud just so I wouldn't hear it a lot. Yeah, but you I've heard done it like that once before. Or yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, dude, when that song came on, I was singing the fucking lyrics. You know, like, whatever. <laughs> um, and supposedly Wait, there was that another was the one. one where he said. Uh, we're um we're on vacation while you're oh, trying to fight. <laughs> no, he, he's like, oh, I have a list that of I want to go without you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's dude. No. That's literally incredible. Like peak. Incredible. So I was super hyped. I had the gates in it. Um, make it, which I'm kind of sad about, because I would have loved to hear it. Just like quality. Which one's that? That's that's the one with Uzi. Oh, fuck. at the gates, you know, perky. Like Man, I, I would have loved to hear that at like maximum quality because yeah. the leak is fire and the and the quality sucks. Yeah, and then I'm the problem was another one that didn't make it, so that kind of sucked too. But whatever. I mean, I uploaded that one. Yeah. Uh, let me see. What you think about the Yeet track? I knew you were gonna go to that. I think it was chilling. <laughs> it's alright. Yeah. It was fun. Somebody said that was like a 2019 Yeet song or some shit. What do you mean? Like, it's a song you made in, like, 2019. No way. I don't know if that's true. We'd have to ask, like... But it's obviously chopped and screwed. It's, we'd have to no ask Kaylin and, um, oh, and yeah, Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're they right. know. The experts. Recorded it. Oh, in 2021. My bad. Okay. That's not yeah, bad. yeah. So, it's a fan favorite, and then, whatever. It was handed to Drake. Um, <laughs> That's crazy, actually. Amen. I mean, okay. Virginia Beach, one of the greatest samples <laughs> yeah, ever. yeah, yeah. yeah. Frank, just hearing Frank to like start the album. Obviously, it's an old track, but you know, yeah, yeah. But I guess it started with Frank. That's why this Sick. this did have the vibe. That's why I meant mentioned the whole like oh everyone's thing because you know like Donda. I think Donda, uh, Utopia, and what Kendrick's latest album, and even Cole's latest album have all had that thing where they're just like this aura and they're just like fucking spitting and you know yeah, like, yeah. these guest features, but like it's it's still very I don't know. So no, that's how cool. I felt with that. Um, Amen with Tizo. I like mean, all of a sudden you just get boom, Frankie. I'm like, oh. yeah. What a way to start an album with Frank Ocean. Like, and then yeah, it goes in. But yeah, Tizo. Tizo. Well, that's the thing is that I say okay, yeah, Tizo's feature there was great, but no, Tizo's best feature is six nine uh, or seven nine six nine seven. Uh, I gotta hear that one again, bro. That's at the end. It's it's just no, like, yeah, I know, I know, no, I know, you know. With but Snoop like that shit. far with Snoop, and then that leading into slime you out. Oh my. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to like, like Slime You Out. No, no, no. Hearing it in the album the way it is. You know the calendar now? Um, I just know that <laughs> July was when I figured out June. July. Yeah, no, Scissor slides on that. Um, Scissor's in a fucking rare bag right now. Like, Yeah, she's with like all, like, she's pretty much like the, of that new school, like, wave of like females. She's, she's at the like top of R&B. Like, it's crazy. Top of R&B. It's not even a question. I mean, Snooze. Like if fucking um, out of time by the weekend didn't exist, this would be like snooze would be like the Thomas <laughs> yeah. record, you know? Oh yeah, you without a time, I forgot. Yeah, but snooze is like that for me. Like I love snooze. No, I feel that. It's, I heard it's like, there's something great. about it, it being a meme that the guys all love it or some shit. I do um, know about that. Yeah. 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 Snooze meme. That's why I was kind of like, oh my god, snooze <laughs> for a second. But yeah, so no, fun. you're right. What do you think about calling for you? Uh, That's the one with twenty one, and it has the uh, the chick on the on, oh, talking yeah. about first class. I know, definitely too much. too much. One of the more forgettable tracks, and too it's much. okay because dude, they just dropped an album together. I'm not like, oh my god, you wasted the twenty one feature. Yeah, like yeah. it was all right, but it's one of those where I'm only gonna listen to it if I'm like carrying the album all the way through. You Correct, know? I totally agree with that. Maybe if the the interlude with the chick was taken out. It'd be an easier yeah. to go back and see, but, but like, every time to have to it takes a minute. It, it takes too long, and I wasn't a fan of that. Supposedly that was just put in there because of the push. Th- push the T was complaining about how he had a first class ticket, and then they put him in coach, oh, okay. American Airlines. So it was like some petty bullshit. Um, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, um, where we are. You mentioned seven six nine cent Bahama promises. I mean. I like that one. That's a standout. That's a good That's one. A uh, Try the best. We oh, dude. Talked about. Bro. 
Screw the world? No, no, no. Members only. Party, man. Members only is amazing. It's, it's the, so... We haven't had a fucking Drake and party track like that in so oh, fucking man. long. Bro, that shit. Oh. Yeah, that you, one took me back. That one hearing it on the fucking drive from the beach. I, I wish they would put a collab album together. Dude, yeah. That's one where it would be like, come on, bro. Like, and all of it, you just feel like, especially Drake's bars at the end, I'm like, oh my God, it's party speaking through Drake. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. <laughs> like, bro, That's that so shit funny. is just so cohesive. I guess it fucking... just reminds me of the, It's like a, a more uh, modernized version of like their OG type of sound. It was I cool. Know, man. I love hearing party, bro. Party's fucking... And I don't know if there's a shot on uh, about the weekend on there. Some people say that, um, what is it? I don't know the bar. Let me see. Where? What it's, he says it's it's or something? <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What the fuck? Is this not on here? Oh, maybe it's a different song. True. Yeah, maybe it's a different song. But, uh, yeah, no. I mean, classic. Classic is <laughs> Party and Drake. Do we do have, best. like, the full production tags and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this one is just uh, 40 and Stu. I don't even know. But, yeah, so, but 40, uh, I mean, well, obviously, you feel his influence on it. 40, 40 is always going to be involved, thank God. Yeah. Um, God bless 40. Uh, I know Gordo did two songs. Uh, Benny X did, like, eight, you know. Damn. What other one did Gordo do besides the... The one, the one where... Sexy Red? Yeah. No, what's the other one? Uh, the the Benny uh, Bad that, Bunny. That's what I thought. I don't know. Yeah, 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 the Bad Bunny. The beat was hard. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah, no, no, like no. That. It's just. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Well, I gotta hear it again. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, it's Gordo being Gordo. What would Pluto do? I, I okay, love wait, it. Wait, wait. I will say this. It needs future. Hold up. Before that, we'll get to that in one second. Yes, what would Pluto do? No, yeah, you are right about that. Drake, Bad Bunny, and Gordo together should have made a fucking absolute monster bang. Duh. Dude, when, like... Especially because Gordo, like, has not, the both. You know what I mean? He announced Bad Bunny being on the album, like, I don't know how long ago. So I was, I was just, like, certified hit. Yeah. You know, because they've already made music together. You know, like, I was I was hyped for the Bad Bunny weekend it's and trial. It's still good. I, I enjoyed you it know? a little bit, but I know what you mean. Like, now hearing that it was with Gordo, too, God, that should have been, like, this fucking amazing... Love child of the three of them, you yeah, know. So, but uh, maybe but it'll yeah, grow on me. Getting on to what would Pluto do? What would Pluto do is honestly one of my least favorite tracks, bro. I really yeah. do think that Future should have been on it. And Future should have. I don't know. On that was one of the ones where Drake's bars are a little corny. Let me see. I don't know. Or like, what's the hook or whatever? What would Pluto do? Um, mm. I don't know. I forget. There's a bar where I'm, we're just kind of like. No. Oh. oh. Yeah. No, that's not. I mean, dude, this shit where he talks about I lost the Sprite deal because Wayne kept pouring fives, <laughs> fucking hilarious. No, um, I mean it's 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 definitely not that bad, but. Wait, is this? Oh. Yeah. Oh, dude, and this line, get inside and bend a dick just like the Pope. Like bend a Benedict, Benedict yeah. Know. That's fucking that's, that's hilarious. Wild. Fucking hilarious. No, some of those bars are crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the bars are nuts. No doubt. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll have to give that one another listen. All the uh, parties. Gotta hear it again. I kind of did oh, fuck with Chief. it. It was yeah, right. but but the better one was the Chief Keef uh, sample earlier in the album. I forget what track it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. And there's there's one song where, like, a silenced pistol, the sound it makes is just used. I can't remember what song that was, but like, dude, that made the so <laughs> entire song for me. That that little like sound. Damn, you're gonna have to look insane. Know. I forgot which one. But come on, it's time for you to answer. What about the Adonis feature? I I said he should have. You he, mentioned it briefly. He yeah. should have called Q1 for that. Should have called Quinn Miller and been like, "Yo, pen for Adonis." Just. I can't believe it. What? <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> The like kid's like just, four. No. <laughs> no. He's definitely not four. He's probably like six or something, right? Oh, so he's a lyricist? No, I'm not <laughs> saying he's a lyricist. I'm saying 
oh, someone trying to rap who doesn't rap yet, like, for the first ever time ever, like, obviously, it's not going to sound great. Like, yeah, I I've, it, I think but he... It was, I mean, I guess it was him being like, yeah, what? I'm not hiding the world from my son. I'm hiding my son from the world. <laughs> no, I think it would have been better if he, like, remember when Hove had, like, blue on? I think it was Jay-Z and Beyonce, and they had yeah, Blue, like, like, say something. Saying something, but... The, I think that would have been the I, move, I instead of, like, a full verse, you know? It's kind of swaggy a little bit for a six-year-old. <laughs> no, it's a flex. It's a flex, you know? And it's a moment, like, whatever. His kid's on his fucking album no, no, saying a couple bars. Like, oh, this certainly isn't Scorpion. He's wide open about his son <laughs> on this one. You know, so I, like I, I get it. I get it. But it. also, like, dude, it's the song starts off with a Scarface sample. No. Yeah. yeah, I know. The so that's that's why I mentioned it is because it's not just like oh like Adonis is interlude or some stupid shit like that. Yeah, like, it's like not Don March fourteenth. You can like you know? skip it every fucking time, but it Don. is kind of slapped on a great track. It's almost like a bit of a vibe. Like what you're gonna put that on at a fucking pregame or something? No, Dude, you know, or if you are, you're pressing skip before. You're not letting them yeah, get the Adonis yeah, yeah. parts. Us, maybe we'll shred out the Adonis parts real quick here and there. <laughs> You, I'm I, not an Adonis Graham stand just it. yet. <laughs> just yet. You didn't skip it when we'll he We'll see where he's at in a couple years, you know? Maybe maybe he's he's you the next the... fucking Kid Leroy, who knows? You know? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I was going to say Lil Tucker. I just couldn't remember his name Lil at the time. Tekka. Lil Tucker, no. his latest album, has a couple of no, sobers no, on it. I know, but I think the Kid Leroy combo is better. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um... Oh, uh, Vinny was saying, I don't, I don't know if it was Vinny or me that said this, but we were talking about it. If he would have just like had like an interlude of just Adonis, yeah, that's, that's a, a soul song, and then it's like just Adonis, that would have been fine. Cause like, yeah, it would have been better. It would have been better for replayability of that. Yeah, track. screw the world. Not gonna listen to that. No, the know? inner, the only real interlude is BBL Love interlude, and then yeah. there's a couple that are so, like. Slapped at the end that are actually good, which mm -hmm. is the Snoop Dogg one with fucking Tizo. Hearing Snoop the was fucking, fire. Uh, the I thought the one of Rich Baby Daddy at the end is fucking gas. I forget. There's like I one agree. other one. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's a cool album. Um, let's see where it goes. Yeah. There, there's definitely some songs that you know I probably won't have in the rotation. Yeah, but I could also see. Certain ones being hidden gems later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, you know how it is with him, though. Nah, yeah, some will grow. It won't on be you. hidden. Yeah, some will grow on you, but most of the ones that will be hidden gems to most people are already standouts for us. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's how I feel. Like, because that's his. I kind of know what are the slaps <laughs> and like where he's just like, this is for real. I mean, dude, uh, was it on 8 a.m. in Charlotte where he talks about switching out the glove? Uh, what? Where he's like, I um, I feel like Mike, except I switched out the glove for the pen, and that's oh. like Mike Jackson, yeah, Mike yeah, Tyson, yeah, yeah. and then somebody even include like Jordan when he was playing baseball, oh my and he had God. the glove. And I was like, oh shit, totally forgot that's about hysterical. that. Hysterical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh, and then the beat it line. Oh, the beat it line was. Yeah, that was <laughs> that was kind of a moment. You know, that was that was a flex. That was a flex. Yeah. Yeah. Um. He said he's gonna take a break for like a year. For his he, stomach, right? And get his health in check. Yeah. Why do you have to say it like that? No, I kidding. know, right? It's kind of weird. Someone <laughs> was saying uh, he started taking perks in his mid thirties, and it fucked up his stomach. So now he has gastro, whatever the fuck. Oh my god! Um, and, you know, people, people on Twitter. There's a lot of hate on this album on Twitter. I and mean, I saw, dude, you know, more hate than he's usual. He's at. He's always going to get hate. And yeah, I will yeah. say, I did get like a reek of mid when I first listened to it, but it was just because I wasn't uh, <laughs> a... Because a little sniff. A sniff of it a at whiff, times. A whiff at of At times. Mid. I was definitely a little like... But but some of the songs aged well after listening to it the second time. Yeah. You know. For me, I feel like... But I do agree. It's going to be... I'm, I'll be coming back to eight. I'm not going to be spinning the album all the way through every time, you know? Yeah. I want to do like a couple more, I guess... Like top to bottom listens, got to, you know, Round get the album. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, got to understand it. But I, f dude, I, it's just with Drake, you could always just cut some songs, and, and it's just better. it's yeah. so it'd be so tight, bro. But the thing is, but I feel okay. like this one kind and of has like a lot of cuts. Well, you know, I'm sure some people have some cuts if it that was, others wouldn't. Whereas like back in the day, 
you know, there were some songs that I would view as cuts and some of those out, you know, not like cuts, cuts, but like, yeah, you know, a couple tracks here and there where I'm like not really big on that you would like or something like that, you know, so yeah, but this or one I would seem, hate and you would love like Roger Happy a little Birthday. More obvious, which one's, oh my god, no, I didn't know. <laughs> no, the one I loved was Peak, <laughs> don't forget it. Everyone loves Peak. Come there on. was just a couple tracks that you were in on that I was like, I kind of like the way it flows in the album. Yeah, That's what it was. I do remember that. Yeah. <laughs> but with this one, I do think it'll be more obvious which ones were just like, eh. mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to give it another listen and, and see what's yeah, up. You know, whatever. Drake dropped. W- w- yeah, definitely no OG, like, fucking amazing, like. I mean, dude, like, but I don't he's just want so old far Drake, bro. Exactly. So, like, I, I, I judging got, by the last few years, I like it. Like, I, I, compared to what we've got in the last couple of years, I think it's, like, a little more of a standout to me. I feel like I, I kind of got a good amount of old Drake on COB. Not where it's, like, oh, this is, like, but, yeah, take care. But it just seems, like, like, formulaic of, like, yeah. what he did in the past. And I didn't fuck with it. Like, yeah, I liked it, but stuff. I wasn't, like, CLB was this just, is... CLB actually, this is repackaged. CLB yeah. actually stunk a mid the entire time. I was like, Jesus Christ, I can't get that fucking smell out of my nose, but there's a couple good drags. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at the <laughs> yeah. end of the day, like, I feel for me, every Drake album, whether the album as a whole is good or not, there's always songs on there there's that it's like, used to oh, you. this could be, like, is, number one Drake song. I was thinking you know? about, I was thinking about, like, October's very own Drake, like, you know, the OG <laughs> Drake with the face, and thinking of you back then, too. That was and just pairing you guys together because that's like the era. But, yeah. um, I mean, you know, it's just so deep into his career. The fact that he's it's fifteen years, dog. Like, you know, he's he's. Uh, and that's that's what made first person shooter even better is that yeah, it's like, over a decade in for like both of these guys, and they can still just like what control up control the game like that. Yeah, yeah, like nobody is gonna. Yeah. There's one guy. Obviously Kendrick, but like he and likes taking naps, he no likes hibernating. Other, like, duo but that goes together like that and just fucking absolutely just baptizes. And them. no, not even duo. There's just like Yeah, there's, there's no rappers one. that fuck with them. Like point blank period. It's just it is what I love future. I love yeah, a no, lot of we, these young There's a lot you know? of rappers that we And like, futures but. futures four. Four. <laughs> Top four, futures in there. You know, yeah, but it's just a different like style, you know. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's cool. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you know, it's, um, yeah, man. It's definitely better than the heat, right? The heat? The heat. What's up? The Miami heat. <laughs> it's better than the Dame situation, right? Bro, come on, man. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> No, no, no. They I know you're they, happy they should have called Gently Miami Heat and it would have nailed the fucking song. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> the no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was unnecessary. You're hating on both things there. <laughs> it's a little rough. Yeah, I'm not wearing a Heat hat today. Yeah, clearly. Nurse, oh, my God. Lance hates this album. He has something bad to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, honestly, it's because that, like, 18 to 22, just, like... Yeah. I feel when like I was it, done listening to the album, I was like, "It's just too long." Yeah. It's too fucking an hour and a half, like, dude. It's too long. Oh, it's too long. It is, it for is for a first is. playthrough, I and think four I, tracks off of it at least would have helped. Yeah, and I think you know it was because it wasn't a twelve a.m. drop where everyone gets together and it's like, yeah, listen to this shit at like one p.m. Yeah, exactly. What the fuck, you know? So no, I, I feel you. Feel like that also played into. But it I think too. I would have gotten fatigued at midnight if we were watching it. If we were <laughs> oh, I mean, if it was a fucking towards the end there. I'd be what what drop was it that it came out like an hour? Oh god, Cob. That was Cob, right? Yeah, I think it was like twelve forty-five or something. Yeah, you're right. No, yeah, it exactly. was like an hour late. That one did drag a little. And guess the hour, just like made it like. Ugh. You know? <laughs> um. But, but yeah, man. I mean. You know, a bunch of music has been dropping, so it's it's fire. Um, George Smith dropped an album. There's some incredible songs on there. Check that out. Fed dropped an album. Um, hey, your boy. I loved a lot of songs, on, dude. He has this song. But nah, no Taylor Swift drops, so nothing really matters. Yeah, right? so no, nobody really gives a fuck. Let's move <laughs> on, um, <laughs> dude. It's uh, what's cool about this album is that it's dude. There's so many mentions of Miami and just like well, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure he Fade. lives here. So, dude, Romanticos de Lunas, that's just, yeah, that's my fucking I'll song. He's talking about Coral Gables and pulling up in an all-black whip like Vader. <laughs> it's fucking fire. sick. And um, 
That was another one. Oh, I know he's huge here. I remember seeing that fucking. Uh, he he does arenas now. It's fucking nuts. Yeah, but um, the effect they had on downtown was just everyone just wearing green. I was like. Yeah, I wish I could have seen that because I saw it at Oasis. It's like the only time of year where I'll check my thing and be like, "There's no way it's March 17th." Like I actually, it's October. Why is everyone (laughs) wearing green? I saw it at Oasis and I was like, "Oh, these people like." Yeah, they actually. Because I I didn't. I I heard a couple songs. I don't know. I heard his projects and I liked him, but I wasn't familiar, you know, as I am now. And it's 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 always cool to see someone just come up big. Um, Yeah, that's good stuff always. Yeah, any music on your side? No, it's chill. No, really. Um, I mean, yeah, you know, a couple of standard drops here and there. Um, but nah, nothing crazy. But I, yeah, you know, of course, I start getting into anime. Jimmy Jimmy goes full emo. What's going on here? Dude, the the videos of Jimmy Butler with like the haircut and it's like um, <laughs> all the emo songs. There was one that was so fucking funny. Um, <laughs> I wish I could remember. It was like a play on um on a Blink song. Oh my gosh! And it was like switching with balling, and I was just I, I the Black I Parade it. was fucking. Dude, you know what I'm Jimmy, about? My Chemical Romance. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. My Chemical Romance was one too. Jimmy, I dude, I hope next year he shows up like um like a Targaryen with this long white hair. Oh my like god! Like from Game of what Thrones. Can he do? That's what I'm saying. No one understands it too either. It's awesome for our culture. Yeah, yeah it's great. did you see the reporter that was like, "Oh, people inside the Miami Heat organization hated it." <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, swear no. to God, that was an official report. I'm sure they did. And the dude got like fired or some shit from like wherever he was at. I'm sure. No, but come on, bro. He made a mockery of their precious media day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He culture flew out the window with that one. <laughs> you know, like, you know I, I, I thought that was a cool thing too because I feel like. I mean, dude, he did the hair last year, you know? Like, he did the hair last year, but this one was just like... A full-on mockery. With the piercings and it shit? It actually was. No, here's the thing. As someone who's, like, you know, worked in that type of industry, I could see where they'd be like, bro, what? But not going to lie, the uh, views and shit were probably so insane that who even cares? And it went way more viral than just a regular, Hi, I'm Jimmy Butler, and I play for the Miami Heat. What up? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially with the, everything that's been going on. I feel like it also took away the the Dame talk, at least from the fans. You know, that's what I mean. Yeah, where it like, it's like he oh. he com- he went in there and completely like shifted like the the talk. Of yeah, he's the just team. like, oh yeah, y'all want Dame and shit. Like, who yeah, the fuck? yeah. So, you know, I mean, dude, I, there's nothing I, wrong with it. It's just it, for them. Like, here's the thing: if like if I was in that organization, I'd be telling them like, you have to understand it. Like, in today's day, like what it like this is like. You know, the equivalent to like a Harlem Shake or something. It's just some guy goofing off, you know, but totally look how agree. fucking huge it went, you know? Like, so who, you can't look at it as if, oh my God, he's this like, you can't look at it so old school. Yeah, no one would have fucking done that on the Lakers in 1998. Yeah, and also the players oh, loved it. Yeah, exactly. Did you see the, I mean. the video like, of, of him, Tyler, and Bam? Yeah. And they asked Bam about it, and Bam was like, dude, I don't even know. That's like, what I mean, yeah. It's, like, it's, it's just, good for the, the team morale and shit, and just the bonding, you know? Like, who gives a fuck what yeah, people Yeah, like, are? we're not going to stand around looking around at each other like, oh, man, I wish we traded Tyler for Dame. Like, we're all yeah. here like, fucking, dude, this is our squad. I know? do wish he kept the hair and put, like, a headband over it <laughs> so that, like, it would just stay in place and he'd just be hooping with, like, one eye. That <laughs> now, would be hilarious. What I'm actually heated about is him not, is the them getting headband? rid of the, yeah. Because cause, uh, Samurai Jimmy was untouchable. I think we would so have sick, easily man. won a, a chip by now if we had Samurai Jimmy. Facts, facts. Um, Samurai Jimmy is up there with untucked jersey Kyrie, hoodie Mello, <laughs> face mask LeBron, you know? All of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah I was going to say something. Here's the thing. If you can keep Hero and get Harden, you do it tomorrow. <laughs> Rump. Take Kyle. And we'll give you a pick. No, we'll give you Kyle Pick, Jovich, and fucking Triple J. No, stop. It's too much. It's the only way what do you think him. about this? Kyle and Caleb. It's, mind you, <laughs> Kyle and Caleb. Yeah, that's a that's a real like. That's a formidable package, and you get pick. the bird rights Whatever. with Caleb. Caleb is on a phenomenal contract. Well, it's only one year of it, but Kyle's one year. He's out. You know. Oh yeah. You got to pick. Mm. Harden's value is in and the a ground. First. I, I just think it's like, oh, yeah, we get to control Martin, and then we we dump his salary and get the 30 for Lowry. I just don't see them doing it. It's Maury, I, I agree. It's Daryl Maury. <sighs> yeah, he's a liar. And he's Harden's, like... Nemesis. No, he's Harden's gimp. He was. 
he I, was. He kind of is, though. No longer. Oh, he goes back with him over. I think Philly. that relationship severed. Okay, well then, if that's the case, then maybe I could see. I don't think it's Joe Crone and Damian Lillard bad. No, no, no. no. But it's There's definitely no not what it was. Of course, you know. I mean, but it is weird that two. He's gonna trade him twice. Is that what the that next team Harden goes to is make it or break for Harden. That's I why think he has to come to us. He has to come to us. I don't think the Clippers would work, especially with Russ. Oh hell no, the Clippers wouldn't work. We're trying to get back to OK, the OG OKC, but where PG's the yeah. KD. Or no, Kawhi's the KD. I mean, it would be kind of OP, not going to lie. It'd be cool to watch. It'd be interesting. It would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's a storyline. It's a storyline. That'd be the next best place. But come on, for us? Yeah. Um, bring him over. I, I do think that if he's traded there and he's like does some fuck shit, he's, he's going to get AI'd. What do you mean? Like, just like... Like, ostracized from the league and pushed yeah. out. No team... All the teams are going to be like, yo, fuck this guy. You know? Yeah, I mean... And he's, he's already uh, at the tail end. He's not putting up 40 he, he and 10. he's a lot better than... <laughs> he's a lot better than what Russ was when the Clippers took him. So, I feel like someone would take a shot on him. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. But, like, AI at the time was still good. No, and I know, I know. they, like, said... And look at what happened to Melo. This shit happens to players. You know? <laughs> Hall of Famers. Yeah, but Melo was kind of toasted. He was, but he was also out of the league for like a year and a half or some shit. Yeah. You know? Nah, but if Harden's averaging like 24, 22, and 10, like he's going to get a job somewhere. I, I agree. If the if the play falls off at all, though, yeah, I could see it happening. Yeah. Like if he becomes an 18, 5, and 5 guy or something. I'm a, I'm a fan of this. This is nice. <laughs> yeah. Um... I, I take a shot. I, I don't want to give up the youngins, bro. Nah, personally. I just don't want to give up Hero. I spe- well, yeah, agreed. But I, I, I guess, dude, they're talking like Jovic and, and Jaime are going to be in the rotation. Bro, I hope to God that they're in the rotation and that they can they actually. They need to be, bro. That's the thing, dude. Like, okay, I understood sitting Jovic last year. Yeah, he was a sure. foreign prospect we do that with and all our way rookies. younger. But Jaime is a third year. Jaime is a three year uh, college player. You know, those are not the type of players you sit yeah, on your yeah, bench yeah. and. Let him learn the league. Like, mm-hmm. no, this is the type of kid that you squeeze juice out of because he's fucking 23 instead of 19 like the other. Or You know what I mean? Like, I, I got to give you a doubt for that. Fucking uh, <laughs> Bam said something. Let me try to pull up the Bam quote because he literally said, learn learn the league. He literally said that like verbatim. Did you see that quote? <laughs> um, No. Okay, I'll pull it up for you. Oh, I put Bam. Bam with an M, bro. Um... Oh, okay. Bam on his first impression of Jaime Jaquez Jr. For a guy that size coming out of college, you would think they got to adjust to the NBA game. He definitely show, He's definitely showing that he can lead a squad to victory. Damn. I could have sworn he said learn. The, well, that's the league, literally an exact paraphrase for what he said. Yeah, yeah. Like, he basically said it, like, without being so harsh, you know, like, like <laughs> yeah. oh, like, learn the league, rookie, splash he, water in his face. Here's my comparison. Did you see the 360? No. I'll get that video. What's your comparison? My comparison is Kuz. Kuz? Really? Kuzma was the same type of thing. Three-year guy. Oh, Everyone's all excited because yeah. he, he's showing flashes, but it's because he's much more mature than most of these kids, like Kobe Bufkin, who's going to waste away on the Atlanta uh, Hawks bench for years. Yeah. You yeah. know? like. And I like. I honestly like that pick if we keep him for that reason. You're getting a, an older guy on a rookie contract. A little bit of an older guy on a rookie contract, you'll take that. Yeah, hundred percent. I I totally agree. If you can, dude, if that kid can average thirteen five and three with a block and like a two a three or something, that's a huge piece for us. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that dude, that would be <laughs> sick. And, you know, I I guess hope we do, man. Like, you know, yeah, give the kid minutes. Don't don't make give him, him minutes, be a, bro. An eight minute. Oh, we're losing this game. Throw him in, type of guy. Give him twenty minutes, eighteen minutes. Let him be a part of that second. Yeah, game. yeah. Don't give him those garbage like, minutes. You, you know, know, maybe the first game, second game. He should earn his way to the second unit. Oh, yeah. Jimmy's off. Look, we have a guy who can kind of like sneakily scare you on offense. Damn, dude. There is, it was like maybe I liked it. I don't. But yeah, it'll be fun to see. It. I'll find it at some point. Yeah, I mean... I've always been fun. Like, you know, it's always fun when you see young guys develop. So, it's like, oh, yeah, it's Jovic. I don't think he's another Omar or seven who's just... But his ceiling was oh, never right. as high. This is like a draft pick. Let's see if it loads. Yeah, I mean... Dude. No, nah, yeah, he's got it's physical tools. It's also great when, like... Triple J. The team you're a fan of drafts a rookie, and you see the rookie develop and go through the system and yeah. become good. We've seen it with Hero. Obviously, we saw it with Wade. We've seen it with Bam. It's like... Jay Rich. Jay Rich, who's back. Shout out, Jay Rich. <laughs> and wearing the O. You Thank know. God. Very Fuck sauce. Team. 
but that's all right. Yeah, it is. Jaime is going to be out there slapping Chris Middleton's big fish ass face right in the face and then just be like, yo, what's up? And meanwhile, you have fucking um, RJ Hampton clamping Dame. Yo, what's up? What you thought this was? That's funny, RJ Hampton. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see what Spoke can get out of RJ. You know? Yeah, that's see? the thing. That This is the test. Oh, if those three kids, because I know RJ is a little older, but he came. He was one of those where he came into the league from overseas, was, was young, and hasn't really had like a fair shake. Yeah. I could totally see him turning into something. Yeah, he definitely could. How old is he? I mean, the kid's 22, about to be 23 exactly, in February. Dude. He's like the same age as fucking, you, you know. know. We looked at the per 36, I think. <laughs> per 36. Sweet. Yeah, man. You know, we'll see. I'm excited. You know, we didn't get Dame, but who gives a fuck? It is what it is, dude. We're Heat fans. The season's about to start. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But what's sooner is the Panthers. October 10th, baby. Lock in this Tuesday. They've already been playing games, right? Like pre preseason. Uh, pre-season? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, bro. I'd, I'd like the to. The show starts on Tuesday. I'd like to well, start watching we some play players. on Wednesday. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, gotcha, it'll be yeah. nice. A couple weeks. Uh, obviously, your garbage ass fish aren't are, aren't in the playoffs anymore, so you can kind of breathe a sigh of relief and not have to watch those stupid games. And then listen, um, <laughs> if you want to get into those two games, we can get into how to fucking MLB. <laughs> oh God, yeah, let's hear. It. What the fuck was that fucking strike box, bro? No, what was going on with that to, shit? But. You got to hit, man. Get rid of these old fucks, bro. Why do we have refs? Why do we have homes for, to determine where the ball lands? It's so dumb to I me. I know, I know. But it's just a part of the, it's it's 2023. Been a part of the game for so long. We can't change that? Come on. Trust me. I know how frustrating the umps can be. I've heard overheard the players chattering about how they're annoyed that Angel's going to be out there. <laughs> That's uh, Angel Hernandez. He's like this fucking evil-ass ump. Really? Yeah. Like, all players just hate playing with him on the field. Like, oh, he's like, um, what's the Chris Paul ump? The referee? <laughs> yeah, uh, Fisher? Like that. Oh, or who's remember. the guy we hate from NBA? Scott. The Scott. No, wait. The Heat. Yeah. I was going to say Scott Fisher. Isn't that not his name? No. I forget, but there's an NBA ref right now who's very notorious for sucking, and he especially... Sucks. I I remember who the one Scott who, Foster, right? Scott Foster. I said yeah. Fisher. Yes, yeah. Scott Foster. That guy yeah. Fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so that's how okay. Angel is. Cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, come, is, I already know his life story now. Look at NBA. Yeah, it's a discretion. There's not like an automated system. So that's how they're looking at it. I understand what you mean with the strike zone, but bro, it's been 130 years of stats and everything with just an ump back there going. Whoop. We're fucking. Ball I know, strikes. but it's like, just, is what it is. Like, unfortunately, did you, you did you watch those games? Uh, some of them, but I, I know what you're talking about. But like, there was good times know, where know, you I could know. see the players were literally the the people at bat for the Marlins were completely taken out of the fucking game. No, I get it. Motherfuckers weren't swinging out the ball. The it, ball would land in the dirt. Strike. What? What are we doing? Like, yeah, no, I feel you know. It's I I I don't like I get what you mean about the refs in basketball, but the refs in basketball. No, I know. I'm like, just I'm just explaining to you. Why it's not like oh they changed it four years ago like they're the I know, old, I know, the old I know. regime of baseball is like fucking gripping the old I fucking know, uh, it's, it's so annoying way dude. like hard as shit you know, it just is what it is like they 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 improve the pitch clock yeah no, I, it's I feel getting like, there it's a lot closer than it's been in a while so I do I could see it happening but I I don't know I feel like that was a great move for the league where everybody is in favor of it yeah. right. Yeah, we like. Well, yeah, now, they, but no, I'm telling you, some of those old owners were yeah, probably yeah. not thrilled about it. Yeah, That's I get what you mean. Is. I get what you mean. Yeah. Um. Yeah, whatever. You know. Yeah, it's, you don't have to watch those games. You don't have to suffer <laughs> those games. And what's, it, up, with, it, it what's was, up with Messi? He's just a wall. Lag is this. He said, "Fuck David Beckham." Yeah. Right. No, something's with the lag. I don't know exactly what it is. So what? Are, are they still winning? Um. They, uh, I think they played New York on Wednesday and they they lost like four one. Oh wow! Jordi Alba also didn't play. Um, yeah, and everyone hates Serge Busquets. No, Busquets is cool, but he he's like, dude, he's Draymond. He needs <laughs> Steph and Curry. Yeah. He needs no, Steph I get Curry. It, but he, yeah, he's like you a know, way he, washer, like because of course, if you play overseas like that, you're gonna be something. Yeah, Special I mean, dude, when you see him pass people, the ball, there, it's... I know, I get it. The connection I mean, between right. him He's and Messi is insane. He's Barca for years, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can't shine alone like that. You know, I've been watching the games, but it's... it's bro, it's... So it's okay, bro. Hockey's starting. That's the whole point. 
That's what I'm getting at. Yeah, no, uh, dude. You have I, two weeks between now and basketball where hockey. <laughs> where hockey's just the sport. <laughs> no, it's baseball season now. I gotta find a new team. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean, bro? Then your new team stopped playing already. <laughs> We're over here, baby. Well, this have been my team. Okay. Yeah. No, the Yanks. <laughs> Come on, bro. You got to take me with you? I saw you busted out your hat. I should have worn my Marlins hat in. Hassan Dominguez, bro. The Martian. The Martian. That's fun. Did, did you fire your guy yet or no? You no. See his... Cashman. But here's the thing. You know what's really tricky about that? Cashman's also the GM for the New Jersey Devils. And low-key, they're gas. <laughs> or maybe he just knows hockey better than baseball. But, I'm... but he, he does it for both teams. That's crazy, right? Search That's it up if so he sick, man. What's his name? Andrew Cashman. Cashman? I know for a fact he's been the GM of... Uh, Cashman there. No. Min, M-A-N. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Never mind. It's Brian Cashman. Scott Fisher and Brian Cashman. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if he is still the guy of the Devils. He has served as... Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I mean, supposedly he's just oh my a gosh, fan. No. Yeah, maybe not. Damn, that's wild. New, I mean, New Jersey Devils fan. You know. <laughs> I wonder what it is. There's some connection there. Let me let me try. To... Mm. I don't think so. Damn. I'm completely, I'm completely. Oh well, wrong. I mean, he talked to uh, Ray Shiro. No, yeah, I, I guess I just General saw like, Manager an picture with it or something. Where he Dude, was I there. was gonna say that would have been insane. insane. Can you right? Nobody, no, I mean, no, well, like there's fucking no credit. Magic then Johnson has done no credit. it. He's horrible. Yeah, he just Andrew sucks GM. as a human being. He's, he's a, I mean, dude, if you have all, well, I mean, a lot of it is like, oh yeah, you traded for Stanton, now you have that huge deal, and he's heading like 198 now. So like, or this year he had like two hundred flat. I mean, yeah, he hit some like. I mean, he's, bombs he, and yeah, stuff. He, he's always been just so fucking. No, two hundred. That's rough. Yeah, that's he's bad. completely that's... shitted out. And then he made another terrible deal, the Donaldson trade. It was just like Josh. Josh Donaldson absolutely sucked. And the culture. It was like one of those things where like, oh, the Yanks knew, like Cashman knew that the Twins, uh, like hated him, like hated Donaldson and thought he was horrible for the culture and still went and grabbed him. But he's finally gone. He's finally gone, Donaldson. Wow, yeah, the last few years for Stanton have been rough. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, what, 211 and then 191? And he still made the All-Star last year. How many homers did he well, get? Well, earlier in the season, you know. But oh, then 31. he completely, like, wiped away towards the end. Yo, what's, what's like, a good amount of homers? Like, 35? Yeah, I mean, if you, if right? you hit that many homers, you'd, yeah, that's a fuck ton. But, you know, obviously, 30s, like, the big boys are in the 50, 40, I saw, 40s, who was the guy range. for the Phillies? Um... He was like the first batter up who had like 30 jacks or some shit. Uh, Schwarber, maybe? Or? Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Schwarber. Dude, that JT Real Muto. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, well, we knew Caspi, that. Caspi, I know, but he. Harper. I mean, bro, the Phillies are just a better team. It is what it is. That's what I mean. Like, and, bro, the, 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 the aura of the stadium, like the fans and shit, like, wow. They really yeah, showed the out. The culture completely different. The culture is, yeah. Normally, Philly fans get their, you know, bad rep, but, like... Well, yeah, they, but if you actually really meet so... some Philly fans, like... I've met Philly people. They suck. <laughs> Chill. I have some friends that are Philly. <laughs> no, no. People... But I know what you mean. Yeah, they do kind of suck. Uh, you no, can meet good people there, I'm fucking for sure. You, yeah. You know? But, yeah, no, the Phillies is just... I mean, they did that whole thing where they organized the clap for Trey Turner this year when he was playing pretty bad. What was that? He was, so, Trey Turner was a huge offseason acquisition. He's a beast. Or, well, I think he probably... He played he for the Dodgers? He lead off... Or, no, actually, no, number two. Yeah, he played okay, with the yeah, yeah, for I know a little. And before about. that, he was on the Nationals for a while. Mm-hmm. But it's like they brought him in, and he was having a mediocre year. And, like, the fans, like some radio stations, whatever, everyone that went to the game all organized that, like, sometime when he came up to bat, they all stood up and gave him a round of applause. That's sick, man. Like, that's, that's fucking cool. awesome. That's cool. You know? there, there's a video of a... Um, and I, he balled out. I ended up winning a fantasy baseball chip with him on my roster. But I was going to say Matt Olson. You got to thank the city of Philadelphia for that one. A little bit. We had, <laughs> we had Castellanos, too. Yeah. Um, but cool, Matt man. Olson had like 47 or 48 or something for the Braves. Oh, shit. And then, of course, Judge would have been on pace to get 60 this year if he played the whole season. Back to back 60? Oh, up. fuck. Go to Judge. That's the no, thing. I mean, like, Judge is the a Yanks would have monster, eased. That's, bro, that's what's annoying. You know? Like, the Yanks would have made the playoffs if Judge played the rest of the season. And that's why I don't know if they're going to fire Cash. 
So what? He had 37 home runs this year in 106 games. Like that's fucking ridiculous. He's holy shit. You have 55 games on the table with 37 jacks. Like yeah, he maybe not have got 60 to 50. flat, but yeah. 55, 57. That's almost he's, a given. Yeah. He's just a machine. Yeah, no, I, dude. Judge is sick. I'm a huge fan of Judge, bro. Since yeah. I saw him in the fucking All Star here in Miami, like it was obvious that yeah, that dude he's was just special. Yeah. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't know who's going to win the World Series, man. <laughs> Braves and Phillies now. and uh... Yeah, I'll start watching some games. <laughs> maybe slide on some hockey in there. I definitely want to, you know, watch more hockey. You just watch Hockey's the Panthers cool. a little bit, you know. Yeah, man, you know. That's cool. I mean, I watched them in the playoffs last yeah, year. Yeah, exactly. But it's finals. nice to, like, get to know the squad a little bit before. Yeah, Because yeah, the course. playoffs are just such a gritty, <laughs> ridiculous place to be. In yeah, hockey. no, I was watching. Anywhere, but especially like, in hockey. Watching against the Phillies, I was some of these guys, like George Soler, who, like, he was balling, right, for us? Jorge Soler, yeah. Jorge, yeah. He was balling, and I was like, I don't know. Guys? Yeah, well, he was <laughs> part of the Braves when they won the championship. He's bounced around the league a lot. Um, really? yeah. But yeah, man. Yeah, what um, so what's up with you on the show? Did you see the new Loki or no? Have you? No, I haven't. But I heard good things. So really? I kind of heard the op- oh, but from people. Yeah, I I saw like a bunch of critics shitting on it. Eh, but, maybe. Yeah, you know, just like we'll see. And you finish Ahsoka or finish Ahsoka? Um, How was it? I liked it. I think. I think it, you'd just appreciate it more, and I'm saying this to me as well, if you had to watch Clone Wars. Yeah, that's what everyone kind of You know, because there's it, references to Clone Wars. David Fish, Fishner, Fisher, uh, whatever the yeah. fuck, he did Clone Wars, or like a good amount of it, and there's like references. Oh, you know, Filoni, right? Dave Filoni, yes. Yeah. Filoni, nice. Um, like in the last episode, there was like, whatever, some shit that was in Clone Wars, where people were like, oh, my God, the, like, live action of this is, yeah, it came out no. fire. And that I, is cool. I was kind of thrown off because it's all, it almost didn't even seem like Star Wars. Really? You know? Yeah, it seemed like a totally, like, like I mean, they were expanding the lore, which yeah. was cool. But I also wasn't even, I know about, like, the, the witch sisters and shit because I'm playing the Jedi uh, Survivor game. Yeah. But, but what, you think I have to watch it? Or, yeah, right? Or no. I think you should just because I, I yeah, loved it's... episode five. And, dude, I think Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka oh, no, is I'm sure. I fantastic. Know the show. It's just, I've just had such a stink on all the Disney stuff. So that's why I've been. No, I, I agree hesitant. with you. You know, but I, I did you watch Andor? No. Andor was pretty good, man. And it was yeah, pretty good. I guess, you know, you know I, I probably need to give the Star Wars stuff a second. I, I, think, I think the problem with the Star Wars is that that last season of Mando. That's what it was. Yeah, it was, starting it to was feel a like slip. It was drifting a little it bit. It was a slip, you know. But I feel like Andor and Ahsoka are both like strong. Yeah, we'll very we'll strong. Check it out. And there's like, there's like a cliffhanger at the end of the Ahsoka where I was kind of like, oh fuck. So this storyline doesn't get wrapped up. But they're yes. talking about another season. So you know, maybe another season it does, or maybe there's a movie. I think that's talks. Like he's supposed the, the Dave guy is supposed to do a movie. Damn. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, I hope something happens, so you know I can find out what the fuck happens. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we'll see. Um, I watched the first episode of Gen V. Those motherfuckers just know how to give you a pilot. It's you gas. know, like the it's. I mean, obviously, it's the, good. Yeah, it's the boys has been so like such a success. You know? I'd say the the animation for the boys you should watch. It's quick, seven yeah, episodes. Yeah, I know you mentioned that. Yeah, I'll, it's since you're in like point, your anime bag. Gen V seems a little more important, right? Or not uh, important. Uh, it's just cool because, um, like you know, you see the the heroes that you've like come to know, like mentioned in the show. So it's kind of like from afar, kind of. It's like a same universe, which. At first, I was like, oh, they're expanding. Like, this is some Marvel bullshit. Yeah. But off the first yeah, episode, it seemed cool. Yeah, like, an annoying, like, ugh, here we go. Yeah, but I got to see, you know, I got to keep on watching and see where it goes. Yeah. And how, uh, have you seen any reviews on that? I haven't really heard much. On I've Gen V? I've heard people uh, Gen, saying yeah. to watch it, but. I've, I've seen good reviews. So, that's, the, the good reviews were what made me start watching it. And I liked the first episode. I just haven't seen more because. <laughs> yeah, um, they're definitely expanding that universe. Right? Yeah. Okay, for all it's worth, but. Cause I watched the creator. That was that movie was cool. Sci-fi movie with uh, is it David? John David Washington. John David Washington. How was it? It was cool, man. It's an interesting like sci-fi flick that's pretty unique. Um, dudes, like just the world and some of the shots were just nuts, man. And it was cool. I like 
it wasn't like the best sci-fi movie ever, but it did yeah, feel it original. Like, yeah, that sounds you know? cool. I mean, that's what so, I thought. It did look original. And I and liked like, seeing it in the theater just because it's like... It's such like a big production, you know, that it just felt good seeing it on a big screen. Yeah, I'm sure that's like the best so, place to watch that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I started Spy Family, which is like, uh, has Angel talked to you about it? Because I know he's, um, he started it at the same time that um, I did. Not too much. Dude, hilarious show, fucking great. The animation's dope. Like, it's, um,. Basically, this, like, undercover agent has to go on a mission, right? And he has to, like... What's um, it on, by the way? I don't know. I, we're watching it on Crunchyroll. Okay. So, Maybe. it's, like, but yeah. it's originally, it's, like, Japanese, or...? No, it's dubbed. Okay. We're watching it in English, so... Nice. Um, I don't, it's lighthearted, and it gets, it's feel-good vibes, yeah, at the, and it's cool. just, like, it's fire. Uh, we're only three episodes in? Yeah, yeah, but I, I you know... And I, it's what? How long is it? Right now. I think the first season, 25 episodes. And that's it so far? So far. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. So Let me, like I don't think fuck. I'm signed in on here. Yeah, it's super new. I mean, I had heard of it before, but I had guess, um, I hadn't dove into it until uh, Pal was like, yo, let's watch this. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Because we were looking for a new show. Let me see. 25, yeah. Damn. Dude, hilarious, man. Like That sounds dope. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, so the guy's basically undercover, and he has to, like... To, to keep the image, like, you know, alive, he has to, like, create a family. So, he has to find a kid. Oh, he has to find shit. a wife. And a wife. It's like a We're the Millers type of vibe, almost. Kind of, kind of, kind of. And then, like, the wife, I believe, is on the other side of the war. Because there's a war between two sides. Damn. And they don't really know about each other yet. It's kind of like Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Smith. That's what this Anime, what but funny. Say. Damn. And the action's good. Like, I, it's so far, it seems really good. And I, I have high hopes for it, you know, so... Damn you well, know, yeah, I guess. And I know, I'll like, just never be done with. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about anime, and I was giving you shit. Such dark. This guy, I was like, oh My yeah. Favorite. So, what are your recommendations? And like, the first three are like ones that'll send Death, me no, that'll Death actually Parade. <laughs> turn me into Jimmy. He wanted me to come back. Like, oh, I saw Death Moon and Death Parade. No, 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 but Cowboy Bebop. That I one. I, that's why I was wondering. I was like, I feel like you've seen. Some yeah, other yeah, ones yeah. that aren't so like I know it's because that, that's dude. I watched more. that like so many so years ago because yeah. that's like a starter pack anime, you yeah. know, and not because it's exactly. like that's what I was like, trying to think of it. I was like, no, nah. because I, I, oh, I've heard a lot of Hunter x Hunter, so that's why, I yeah, that one's that one's mention it, but uh, I don't want to say shonen, but it's kind of more action. Uh, Cowboy Bebop music's incredible, it's life, it's like there's funny moments, it's just it's just a good show, like yeah, it sounds dope. It's a it's a know space they, odyssey. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's fire. No, nah, I know it's iconic. I've heard. Yeah, heard. super iconic. That one you should definitely just have in your pack, you know, in your starter pack. Hundred percent, dude. I mean, I'm already forty percent done with One Piece. What episode are you on? Four hundred. What? weren't you on one eighty last week? Nah. You were like two something. I was like at like three. Really? Yeah. Dude, you've been killing it, dog. <laughs> <laughs> wow, four hundred. <laughs> That's been mashing it, yeah. It's like that. That's fire, man. That's fire. <laughs> it's like that. I mean, you know, like, dude, there's spells where it's like a little more lighthearted. It's like uh, that last arc that I was talking about last episode was so fucking big and juicy. And like, oh, this episode and then this 70 episodes later, it's like, but now it's like a little more like, okay, let's see what this next one's going to be like. We don't even know. It's like, Another little like find your yeah, yeah the next like, arc has your adventure started. quick arc and then now it's like the start of the next arc which is gonna be huge when they cross the grand line which is like where all the fucking pirate warlords are oh, and shit. shit so yeah I saw Luffy's gonna be in the Macy's Day Parade oh my god They're gonna have the like a big ass the balloon. one from the uh, the what do you mean or it's just gonna be yeah like one of the I just wonder if they'll get the live action people there on the balloon mm, I don't know. It's it's definitely like the cartoon one. Nah, that's or, well, be they cool. haven't unveiled it. That's gonna be cool. But it's cool how they've like mixed in anime because I remember when like uh, Super Saiyan Blue like Goku was in it. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. I hadn't even like watched. Nah, Super there was some point. cool shit with that. Yeah, they come out with some shit or the Grogu. <laughs> oh my god! When Grogu was out there, that was that was fire. Yeah, <laughs> that's one of those things that one of those events that sounds sick, but that I would never go to. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it sounds like like kind of like Times Square. A the New ball Year's? drop. That looks like the biggest shit show ever. Yeah, man. That looks like a fucking outbreak waiting to happen. <laughs> you know? Like, zombie outbreak? Yeah, it'd be cool to, like, helicopter in and helicopter out. Yeah. yeah. Nah, we'll do it one year when Taylor's there. I'm down. I'm down. Yeah. 
<laughs> on the Swift, dude. You saw how um, he was like, I think the NFL is kind of like overdoing it a little bit. <laughs> Travis Kelsey said that shit. I mean, dude, the amount of times we we were watching the <laughs> the stream live. No, and on I the sent last you pod. the stats. You saw the, dude, yeah. the stats were like. 17 looks or something like that. And supposedly they were like advertising her shit for free. They like the NFL did it. I like, mean, hey, bro. Go for it, man. I mean, you know, I get what they're trying to do. It's It makes total sense. Yeah. I mean, try to get some women to watch your, your product, you know. Just adding more numbers to the fucking pot. They already have such a stable fan base. And now to add Dude. something like that, it's like it's all yeah, great. Increase their grasp on America. <laughs> on humanity. Yeah. On America. <laughs> And yeah. now we get another London game from Jacksonville. Tomorrow? Yeah. What, no, Sunday. Sunday? Really? Two weekends in a row in Jacksonville. They're playing the Bills this time over there. And then, you know, we play Germany. I mean, we play uh, we play um, Kansas City in Germany. On Sunday? No, not not on Sunday. Next this one? year. Oh, this year. Okay, okay. Some okay. later on. I think it's like three who, weeks do, later. Who do we play like, Sunday? Uh, the Giants. We better fucking win that game. Bro. No, we better not win. We better stomp on them. We better score a 75 this time. Nah, not right? 70. They're, they're definitely a better... They, they, I don't think that they'll be as loosey-goosey defensively as the Broncos, but I do think we should destroy them. We should exert our dominance. Yeah, but sure. that's where like Vic Fangio, the D coordinator, bro, you got to drop some blitz early and often. Don't be fucking, oh, we're going to cover two of them with like fucking three yeah, their men O-line rushing. Sucks, like, bro. Their O-line's garbage. Fucking exploit that shit. Dude, that like, clip of... That's like, how we can really destroy them is if we were, get like six, seven, eight sacks or something Yeah, like yeah. That. The, the clip of uh, Daniel Jones like hiking the ball and Gus like holes in the O-line. Dude, it's like brutal. three. Oh, yeah. And then you see like four rushes coming no, at him untouched. with the most insane fucking thing right now. Yeah, man. Like... I'm not going to say he sucks because, dude, at any quarterback yeah, without he, an O-line is going to look bad. He doesn't look great despite it because there are some plays where he doesn't look great. Yeah, like, yeah for well, sure. Regardless. But, yeah, to be every other play, you're getting fucking harassed. Yeah, how do you get in a rhythm, bro? That's, just, that's horrible, yeah. bro. We've yeah. seen it from a million players. I mean, granted, maybe not this bad after that contract. That's the problem. They really signed him to a nice long-term oh, that's right, deal. Yeah. So, it's a little so bit looks- like you need to do something. But, yeah, I can't blame him. <laughs> the vibes are off over there, though, for sure. Or where they were on the sideline of that last game. Really? I forget who they're playing. Nah, you know, just like, it just looked like it just wasn't working. Like, the overall vibe just wasn't like. But we'll see. Maybe that O-line comes back and Saquon comes back and, you know, they look a little more competitive. But as of now, yeah. Is Saquon stopping. supposed to come back? Uh, He's questionable for this game. He might play this oh, game. Okay, so, yeah, he'll play again this yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I just mean, like, in the short term, like, they need to kind of I mean, make a dude, quick turnaround, you know. Saquon will take a lot of like pressure off. Yeah. Him. Oh no, Saquon, for sure. For sure. Gotta... But he's been there in games where they've gotten fucking wrecked too. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. I've seen those. So, yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> the Cowboys, <laughs> but it's the Cowboys. They, even though they've lost. Yeah. I mean, they lost to the Cardinals. So, but nah, man, it'll be exciting. Let's see. Let's hope. Yeah, we walk. We sh- there's no like we really shouldn't lose a game to the Giants or the Panthers the next two weeks. We got to walk away five and one. Agreed. Yeah, that, that's we have a, some tough matchups later in the season. And that's know. a tell for the team if yeah, they're exactly. actually serious. You have to win those two, no doubt. But we did get Chase Claypool. I don't know if you saw that. I did. I did. But, like, what's yeah. up with him? All right. I mean, let me balled the fuck out his rookie year with the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger. Was there with a couple of boofy uh, quarterbacks for a few years. Didn't really do much. Got traded to the Bears and was showing signs of, like, low oh, effort shit. here and there, whatever. So, it's definitely, like, a case where, like, you need him to, like, Come in, buy in, like really. But dude, either it's a it's a nice gamble. I mean, we give up a six rounder, get him yeah, a we seven. Nothing. We give him nothing. And then, I mean, dude, he's still look. He's still that age. He showed that potential earlier in his career, and he's fucking six five and runs a four four two, or he's like six four, six four. He's huge. Two forty. That's already our biggest target, you know. So if that dude could even give us fucking. Fucking 600 yards and fucking four touchdowns to end the season. That'd be huge for us. We'd have a legit third wide receiver, you know, like, and like, yeah. and it like would Barrios. open up. Ma- like, imagine if, no, Barrios is good, but he's this tiny little thing. Yeah, yeah no, fucking, I know. Uh, fighting for every little, like, look. Whereas, yeah. like, if Claypool's this big 4 4 2 and he's actually getting open and shit like that, oh my God, what are you going to do? Just leave him open? Or no, maybe you're going to take a little attention away from Waddle, who needs to get going a little bit. Hill, obviously, is going to fucking... He's, he's going to do, do his thing, thing regardless. But, like, 
that could really help open things up a little bit when you're playing against a team like the Bills and against a team like the you know what I mean? Like yeah. so let's hope. You never know. I mean, with a piece like that, he could just shit out. It's cool, man. I, I'm really loving this like this football season so far. <laughs> I was liking last season, but now I'm just like, I'm yeah, in it. This feels like, know? dude, we just need to get a full season of Mr. You know who. Um, <laughs> we just need a full season of him, and that's it. Like, yeah. give us a full season of him so we can truly see what this team dude. can accomplish. And Mike you know? McDaniel, I mean, dude, that guy. Yeah, you know, I bought couple, in. I've totally bought in. Yeah, you know, oh, I love I've that. never even been close to putting a bid in for the fucking Dolphins ever. Yeah, you know? so I'm, I'm loving it, bro. You gotta buy in, but yeah, oh, man. I've always loved football. But seeing like, oh no, of Miami actually put a good product together for their football exactly, team. Exactly, where it actually that's, looks like it's like a cohesive plan and this yeah. and that. I mean, our defense needs a little work, as is shown We've by the Buffalo. It, yeah, but you yeah. know, it's an away game in Buffalo. You can't look at it. We're too missing much, players, like, you know. Yeah. I, I want to see what the defense is like. Oh my god, healthy. you you get to the playoffs with a decent. Season seeding and not be like six seven seed get in there at four and fucking ramsey's back then then we could really be yeah, like, yeah it'll know, be fun like, man that's yeah. what we need we need a guy who can eliminate stefan Diggs or at least fucking win some of the battles <laughs> against him you know fun. like we could have easily had a better time playing against him if we were able to at least 50 percent his targets instead of boom nine for ten or whatever the three tuggies like yeah. yeah like crazy so but anyway it's i cool, think man. uh we had a light topics this week, but some chunky ones yeah. uh, for all the dogs. I hope you listen to it a little bit more. Get, give us an update next week. But mm. uh, you want to talk about Team USA? Uh, We're just gonna dominate bit. in twenty twenty four. This is gonna be. And like, Bede signed up for it. I don't even know oh, no. if he's gonna play, but Kawhi's talking about playing. Obviously, everyone's talking about playing. Did yeah. you, dude, there was a video of this. Up. Could be like, yeah, it'll be a fun story. We need that after this last fucking yeah, FIBA. FIBA. Order, like, yeah, dude, there was uh, Curry was like talking about like uh the olympic team and then he was about to like name drop lebron and getting like a text from lebron being like yo let's do this and he like totally switched Jeez. switch out lebron's name because he didn't want to like you yeah, know yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was just such a fucking funny moment bro. <laughs> you know but yeah that's nah it's gonna be wild though yeah man i'm excited let's bro. hope it's a documentary worthy squad I think it can be. Yeah. Well, if everyone's it's healthy. It's not going to be fucking Fareed out there. Like, don't get me wrong. Dude. Fareed was dominant in the USA. But Bam, Bam is already, like, in it. You know? <laughs> so, we already have someone from the from the city, you know? Yeah, we love that. And, dude, if they do it around LeBron, KD, Curry, like, who? Oh, my God. Yeah, that's really what it is. It's to get a chance to just see that product. Just, like, all the best players yeah, because we have obviously dude. no Joe Jovich or Giannis, but basically all the best players in the league besides them. Yeah, yeah, but like we haven't seen Curry on a, an Olympic team. Yeah, or and, or, and then Curry with LeBron, like no, full no, games. That would just be come on, bro. We need that. We need that for the culture, though. Yeah, for the culture. Yeah, so. <laughs> we'll see, man. Yeah. yeah, be teammates, bro. Look at those old days with the fucking. Uh, the, I guess, yeah, the redeem team. It's just like, the you know, we need another squad like that. Yeah. It's just like all the these players planted. where you're like, oh, my God, look. like It's like, it's not, oh, my God, look, this guy's so much better than fucking Finland. Like, no, this team is absolutely It's one of the best iconic. teams ever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like. That's, what, that's what I'm hoping we get, man. That would be sick. <laughs> so, we like, we, dream, but, bro. you know. Probably smash the expectations a little more than the F-A-T-D, right? Hmm? Fat D. Fat D, though. Why is that the acronym? Like, he just had to do it's it. It's all, yeah. He always finds a way to just, like, meme himself. <laughs> Last time it was the album cover, you know? And a lot more corny bars. I thought there was more corny bars on CLB. Did you see the inflatable of the pregnant chick? I think uh, I sent it. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious, bro. Yeah, of I course. Mean, you know how he is. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, uh, maybe next pod we'll give you a, a you know. There's like an Rosier update for review from you. Yeah, exactly. I don't know that I, I could put a number on it either or where I rank it amongst his like albums. So Yeah, it's too it's too early. I gotta say what But it. safe to say it's no Scorpion. <laughs> you know I love Scorpion. <laughs> Nick loves Scorpion. <laughs> so funny. Um I mean there was no point where we got that fucking uh what's it called? Looking janky or whatever. I forget that fucking song. Um Looking janky. Pull up the track this real quick. This'll be Scorpion? our send off. Yeah. Scorpion. <laughs> this is their send off, ladies and gentlemen. Drake, of course, dropped. Um, a little more. Oh yeah, is it? Is there more? I think so. Oh no, no. Nah, is there more? Is yeah, it's. Is there more? Really? 
I'm pretty sure. No, I thought he was barring out on this. Oh, no, it, I'm, that's what I'm saying. Control F and put janky. Yeah, oh yeah, my moral compass is janky and it breaks in the south. Like, there is no <laughs> vibes like that on this new album. There's not a moment like that on this new album where you're just like... <laughs> But it's okay. The best three songs, 8 a.m. and Charlotte. Of course, time and, time and location, really, Drake is that? always a little bit. But yeah, time and location, that Drake is always going to be. Dog. That, uh, fucking, that was mean, dog. That, Slime You Out, and uh, First Person Shooter. Those are the three like absolute banger tracks from this album that will no doubt stand the test of time. Yeah, we'll see what other ones do. <laughs> but um, that's it. 225 a.m. on the East In Miami. Miami. In Miami, you know, <laughs> we got to say that now that party's back. Two AM in Miami, no, in Miami. no bad bunny. <laughs> <laughs> um, but thanks for listening, guys. We appreciate you. Love. Love. Have a great week. Peace the fuck out. Later.